I'm gonna do like a whole bunch of bloopers for the beginning. Beep, beep, beep. What's going on guys? It's Daniela and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you guys a new baking on a budget, but this time it's gonna be a summer edition. And by the way, sorry if there is glare on my glasses. I am just becoming blind and I can't see from that far. Today I'm gonna be doing three cupcake designs. Actually, am I doing three or am I doing four? I think I'm doing four cupcake designs. One of them is a mini cupcake design, the rest are regulars, and then I'm doing a cake pop design, which I'm so, so, so excited to work on. So let's get right into it and I'm gonna get started right on the cake pops, which my cake pop dough is in the fridge. Let's go get that. If you guys are interested in seeing how to make cake pop dough or overall like how to do it from scratch, you guys can go back to my last baking on a budget and I showed you guys the steps from the beginning to the end on how to make this. The last time I made cake pops with you guys, I did a downward design and today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do an upward design. It's really not that difficult or that different. The only thing that you will need that's different is at least a little foam bar and if you don't have a foam bar, you can get like the actual cake pop holders to have them there. But this is always a better alternative if you want something quick cheap and fast I got this for three dollars at Hobby Lobby and you can always use like the 40% off coupon and you can get it for like a dollar fifty I don't know math um <laughs> I think that's, that's wrong. About, that's about right. Okay. But for right now, to start off with the cake pops, all you're going to need is the lollipop sticks or cake pop sticks, whatever you want to call them, wherever they have them. You're going to need some white chocolate. Somebody asked me last time what chocolate I used. And this is the exact same brand I used last time. I got it at Hobby Lobby as well. You can get them at Walmart, Target. But this one was $3 at Hobby Lobby. And again, if you use that coupon, you could save some money. Once again, when you're making cake pops, there are other things that you can do to make them the exact same size. There are actually cake pop makers, but for right now, since I'm trying to do baking on a budget, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do it just without that. And I just dropped some on the floor, but that's okay. This flavor is a pineapple cake, and I showed you guys how to do that in the beginning of this video. <laughs> This is one of my favorite recipes that I've made that are quick and easy. It definitely enhances the flavor of the store-bought cake and makes it seem a little bit more than just what it is. Make sure that when you make cake pop dough, it's not really mushy. It really stays at the consistency that it should be and it's not falling apart. That's what you really are looking for. So now that I completed the cake base, all we're gonna do is pretty much put the sticks in and we're gonna make it look like this. When you're dipping the sticks, you really don't wanna put so much chocolate on the stick just because you really wanna make it pretty clean in the bottom just so it could look a little bit more nice. And also you don't wanna stick your stick all the way through just because there's gonna be a hole and we really don't want that. So you're gonna get your stick, kinda dip it in just the top of it. You you really don't need to go too far in and once you feel the stick go all the way through at least from the start of where you put the chocolate that's all that's all that you got to do from there we're going to let them chill in the fridge and in the meantime once they chill we're going to be working on our cupcakes To get started on these cupcakes I am going to be using a reference picture I'm going to post some of the reference pictures here that I'm going to be using I see my phone over here with this cute little case you guys can definitely go get one of your own at slushy cases on Instagram definitely go check them out they have super duper cute cases they had cheetah print they had marble they had this pink one that was super adorable and I definitely think you guys would like it if you guys want to go check them out you guys can go in the description below and check out their Instagram or their link which is also gonna be in the description and check out their stuff I feel like such a rookie right now because I keep having to repeat myself because I haven't filmed in a while, especially a baking video. So I'm, mm, I just keep messing up. I'm gonna start off by showing you guys exactly what I got at the 99 cent store. And I got these, which were super duper cute. They're cupcake holders and I absolutely love them. When you bake them, they kind of turn a little darker. And for summer, I think they really do the job. The toppers that I got, which are honestly not technically toppers, they're technically toothpicks, but we're gonna use them as toppers. These are flamingos. These are cactuses, 
and these are little fruits and the final thing that I got from the 99 cent store were these little umbrellas which is also a design that we're gonna be making on one of our cupcakes now one thing that I didn't get from the 99 cent store but I got from Hobby Lobby and I actually ended up seeing it at Dollar Tree were these straws I saw literally the exact same ones at Dollar Tree I was kind of upset because I got these for three bucks <laughs> so I was like oh this is supposed to be baking on a budget I could have just came here for these meanies all you really need to do is get some chocolate frosting it's best if you get it close enough to the color of the cake but as you guys can see mine is really really light so it's completely okay once you get this spread it around you're gonna get the extra cake that you have left over and crumble it on top and then from there you're just gonna add your topper and that's pretty much it so we're just gonna crumble these on top so I found with these toothpicks I'm just pretty much breaking off the top and then kind of cutting it up to halfway just so I can actually stick it in the cupcake and it could be secured and just put it right in the middle and that's pretty much our cactus cupcakes I really don't know if these are kind of summery ish but I thought they were super duper cute and I really like that design so I really wanted to make it as always I'm gonna show you guys a really really basic simple design and that's gonna be my swirl once again I've gone through two tutorials I believe on how to do the swirl and those are on my last two videos when it comes to these designs I really like to focus a super simple thing on the top since it's a little bit dramatic in the bottom so I'm gonna go ahead and do a swirl and show you guys how that looks when it's completed so this is a very simple design that you guys can do you guys can add sprinkles if you'd like but I think this looks absolutely perfect for the second design I'm gonna be doing something like this I'm gonna be using an open tip for this cupcake and if you don't happen to have this one you can always get a frosting bag and just cut off the tip of it and that would do just fine pretty much I'm gonna go in one circle and then I'm gonna do another one and one more there we go if you already know how to make a swirl then you're not gonna have any difficulties with this one and if you're not comfortable with the swirl I promise you practice makes perfect we're gonna do the same thing we did for the cactus which is rip off the stick on the top since these are regular cupcakes you kind of just need to cut the tip off you really don't want it to be super duper short just because you want it to be stable now that I put the toppers on top, I honestly really like how this looks. I think it's super cute. Super cute. I, why do I keep saying that? God! I'm gonna cut them in half because these are very, very long. And from here, you're just gonna poke them right on the side. And this is our smoothie cupcake. I, oh my God, every time I make things like this, I get so excited and I can't stop smiling because I love it. I, I love putting so much work and effort into this because I think it's so worth it and it really, it's just my happiness, honestly. If I haven't mentioned in the video yet, I am gonna be having a D the Baker pop-up, which I'm super duper excited about because it's gonna be my first pop-up that I've ever had. So you guys are all welcome to come. It's gonna be in El Cajon at Marley's Coffee. I'm gonna be posting it also on my social media way more often throughout this week if you guys are interested in going. For our last design, this is the most intricate design I believe I picked for this summer edition. But I think it's very doable, like I said. I always try to pick things that I know you guys can do, and if I can recreate them, you guys can recreate them as well. The one I'm gonna be doing is the one right here. As you guys saw, it does have a little teddy bear instead of a flamingo, but I thought adding the flamingo would add a pop of color. There's two different designs that you guys can do with it. There's one which is the swirl, which I'm gonna pop up again, and then there's also one that you guys can kinda use like a butter knife, which is the one that you guys saw with the teddy bear. It seems like they don't add that much frosting, so I'm kinda I'm just gonna do two you're also gonna need for this design either cookie crumbs graham cracker crumbs anything you'd like I found these almond cookies in my pantry and I decided they'll do just fine you're gonna get your cookie crumbs and just kind of sprinkle it around from here I'm gonna get my flamingo same process like we've been doing for the rest of the cupcakes so you're gonna put the flamingo right in the middle when it comes to summer luau or just those types of themes I think a little umbrella you got to like if you don't have one why we're gonna open this up really slowly to not break it I decided to change the umbrella just because it was a lot of blue but this is our beach flamingo cupcake let me make it focus this doesn't really look that much like sand but it gets the job done to be honest since I don't have anything else. So my cousin just came downstairs and I'm gonna ask for her opinion on my cupcakes. Don't be a liar, don't be biased. This is a smoothie cupcake. 
I like it a lot. Isn't it so cute? It's really cute. <laughs> but to finish off these two cupcakes, I'm gonna do the other design, but the same exact type of design, I guess you can say. It's just a different style. They pretty much just put half blue, half white, and then they blended it out with a butter knife, which I'm gonna do so right now. All right. This is kind of difficult, I'm not gonna lie. I really think that the frosting tip is way easier just because blending two colors without mixing them is a little difficult. But we're gonna get it done. This is the one with the butter knife, and then this is with the swirl. Last dessert of the day. My camera has been dying on me three times trying to film this, so I'm gonna try to get through this quickly, but at the same time, try to be informative. So for this design, we're gonna be doing snow cones, which I thought were super I saw this design on Pinterest. I haven't seen anybody else do this design, which is why I really wanted to show you guys. It's pretty much like a DIY project, if I'm really being honest. These cones were a little difficult to make. I'm not gonna lie. I only had time to make four of them because I kind of gave up, not gonna lie. The sprinkles you're gonna be needing are pretty much like sugar sprinkles. I guess that's what you can call them. Sprinkles are made of sugar, but these are literally like crystals. And I got these, of course, at the 99 cent store, baking on a budget. That's what we do. Let's get right into this. Those cones, like I said, they were a little tedious and it was really time consuming, but it's definitely going to be worth it once you get the perfect size. And once you perfect one, you could really just trace it on a piece of paper and then just keep copying it. So it's not that bad, but you really have to find the perfect one. You're going to dip it all the way in. You really just want to tap all the excess chocolate off because if you don't, it's just going to be really heavy and it's possibly going to have some breakage. You're going to get your DIY cone. Put it from the bottom and just pretty much lay it to where it touches the cone. From here, you pretty much just get your sprinkles, which why didn't I open them? <laughs> oh, you're just gonna sprinkle this like this. You really wanna make sure it's coated completely because when you get a snow cone, it pretty much looks like it's completely colored ice. And that's kind of what you wanna do for these. The one thing I will say with this design, if you're doing it for a party, it's a totally okay, it doesn't matter. But if you're planning on selling these, I would say do some trials on what paper you can use because I can already start seeing the oil from the chocolate kind of stain this and I don't really like how that looks. I would try to do a different paper, maybe a thicker one and see what works best. Alright guys, so this pretty much completes the end of the video. I hope I gave you guys some great ideas for your summer parties, especially now since we're all getting out of school and some of us are going on vacation. And if you guys end up recreating any of these desserts, make sure to tag me on Instagram, whether it's on my baking account or my personal account. I will definitely repost it. I love you guys all so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe if you are new. Turn on your post notifications, and I'll see you next time. We did it.